Despite unlocking those two new planets, we are still on Sargasso. I did not have a good time here. Uh, because I kept getting lost and I kept going ahead of things that uh, I shouldn't have been going to. And yeah, it spent a lot of time here that I could have saved. But hey, I mean, that's that's what open worldness brings to video games, right? So. <gasps> oh! She nabs him from those rock islands up there, but I guess she's too tired to fly today. Oh! Oh, a plate partying again? Dude, another staple of the Ratchet series ever since Going Commando. I think this is resource collecting. Okay, so... Yeah, um, every Ratchet game since Going Commando has had... A planet where you can go around it's optional and um, collect um, some sort of stone or resource or I think one of them was like a soul or something oh yeah like in in for example in, in tools of destruction it was Leviathan souls and the uh, smuggler would um, pay you for any any souls you bring to him so um, yeah, it's always it's just like the battle arena. It's super helpful to do as much as you can. Don't want to miss any. Yep, I'm already doing it. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna collect as much Zerf stones as possible. Usually you just get like bolt rewards, which we could always use. Oh, thank you, more. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. I bet this would prove quite useful. Yep, I agree. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I think I missed one. <laughs> okay, um... Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess we're freaking Zerpstone hunting, guys. Um... We got new armor? Oh, oh. A tougher take on the classic Carbonox leggings, now with anti-chafing fail-safes. <laughs> Um, a 5% increase to all bolts gained. What do we have now? Damage from the... Oh, see, that's so super helpful, though. But, yes. <laughs> just, just yes. Uh, let's keep it, uh... Yeah, yeah. Don't want too much yellow. Okay, but yeah, we are Zerpstone hunting, then. And we are just gonna just farm this for all the XP or bolts or whatever whatever they'll give us alright um well our freaking <laughs> executor our shotgun is fully upgraded now no thanks to that bronze challenge from uh last episode um Oh, a drill hound we can upgrade. Yeah, let's uh let's stick to our drill hound and lightning rod. Oh. Yeah, see it seems functionally it's like a rocket launcher almost. Really nice. Okay. We only need one more Zerp stone. Zerp stone. Oh, it's under the bridge. I do. I wonder if we'll be able to like ride Trudy or something. We just got really cool boots, but okay. Rivet's looking pretty slick. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought he said, I'm just going to give you a rhino. 
Okay. All right. All right. Wait, what? Dude, we were right. What? That's amazing. Okay, so. <clears throat> All right. Let's just check out what the ranger boots look like, but I do think I'm going to keep on the 5% bolt increase cuz that 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 that'll go a long way, you know what I mean? Especially when we go back to the battle arena. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, we have one. <laughs> By the way, if we collect all the zerp stones, the reward we get is another piece to the rhino. We are going to get the rhino this this playthrough. You know, when I was a kid, I used to be like, oh, yeah, I, I won't worry about that. Um, oh, wait. Two of our, okay, no. We're okay. We're all right. Okay, so it's just right, right stack. L2 is to break. Okay, this is amazing. Like, I'm not even fully register registering that we're flying a dragon in, in a Ratchet and Clank game. <laughs> but um, it kind of reminds me of, like... Um, like in Ratchet 1 when you piloted the ship or whatever. Not really sure if we can go about this in a... Uh... How do we dismount? <laughs> That's probably a good thing to know. Um, it's not circle. Hitting the ground doesn't do anything. Okay. Oh, we have to... You have to land. You can only land on certain spots. Interesting. Is Are those marked on the map? Yes, they are. Okay. The nice little Trudy icon. <laughs> really nice. All right. Um, well, we'll go ahead and head over here. I think we can make it. Yep. All right. So we need 60 more. Let's get back on Trudy. Oh, snap. How do we... Uh... How are we supposed to get up there? You know what, I should, um... Or, oh wait, can we just run into it? Would that work? Because I don't see us getting up there conventionally. No, that doesn't work. Hmm... I thought, I, I'm thinking like now, what if, what if we don't have all the tools necessary to even get all of them yet? Like, how are we supposed to get that? Uh, just to catch you guys up, I've been uh, just keeping up the hunt, and I kept running into zerp stones that were like way too high up for me to reach. So I came to the conclusion that I'm missing some sort of ability. And what tipped that off was the fact that when you ride Trudy, I don't know if you guys have noticed, there's like a crosshair. It's like, why is there a crosshair? So clearly we're going to get some sort of ability that will help us get that at some point. But I've just been getting the ones that have been on the ground that we've been able to find, so... But, uh, we're doing pretty good so far. We have, like, uh... I think we have 40? We're on 40? Oh! Never mind. Okay, we have 45 now. Oh, god. Yeah, I think by the end of this, we're gonna have another level 5, maybe. Another level 5 weapon. Running low on ammo. I also noticed uh, the D-pad is a quick select. You can like pick which weapons, if you guys see that. I might be covering a little bit of it. But um, you can assign which weapons are assigned to each uh, D-pad so you can like quickly switch. So I'll have to make sure I keep that uh, up to date with the weapons I want to use. I'll probably prefer, you know, if you've noticed, I've, uh, I've been using weapons that I, you know, are lower level than the other ones. Any second now. Boom. Cool. See, I was expecting the um, those Gunthors to be the resource thing, you know? Because like, uh, like I mentioned, in Tools of Destruction with the Leviathan Souls, you had to kill like a mini boss every single time. Um, but um, yeah, see, there's just another one. That's what I was talking about. But um, I mean, there have been quite a few that we've been able to get on the ground. Like all of these are like too high for us to reach. So um, we're just gonna keep moving and hopefully we'll get that ability soon, whatever it is. I mean, there has to be, cause there's just no other way. I was also thinking maybe if, if it's not an ability with Trudy, it might be like the gelatonium gun. Remember I mentioned the gelatonium before, but I just haven't had any hint of that. I forgot to tell you earlier, Trudy's strong enough 
Oh! Dude! I was right! Oh! Dude, that's- that's a- It's like a machine gun! What? I think I just shot one already. Where'd that go? Or did I already- Did I already get it? Hold on. Let's go back here. Dude, that's hilarious. I didn't know- I guess I should have known it was, like, gonna be breathing fire, because Trudy's basically a dragon. Well, let's, um- Well, you know what? No, what? Yeah. Let's go ahead and backtrack and get the ones that we've been to but couldn't get previously. There we go. Wait, is that- That's a gold bolt! <laughs> and the little Quidditch hoop. You could hide from me, did you? Nice. Oh, I didn't even uh, expect to get one of those. Wait, hold on. That means we got a, um, a new thing. Rendering modes. What? Play the game with a filter on. Ah, I see, I see. Home movie. I don't know what that is. We're gonna keep that off though, at least for this playthrough. Okay, cool. Okay, these are the last three. Wherever they are. All right, you know what? Let's do this like this. Do it like Lord of the Rings style with Smaug. Well, I guess that's the Hobbit. <laughs> Rain fire. Did I get all of them? Yep, one left, I think. Yep. One left, and we missed it. There we go. All right. I was gonna say, b besides her breathing fire. <laughs> Did I interrupt that? Wait, what? Where's Mr. Dragon? <laughs> That's why she's been so freaking hungry. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, see, I, I had trouble with this landing pad earlier. I don't know why. There we go. Okay. Our second rhino blueprint. Oh my gosh, dude. Mort, I'm telling you, Mort is such a welcome addition to the Ratchet and Clank franchise. I hope I hope they come back like every single Ratchet from now on, like plumber style. You know what I mean? <laughs> um But I mean there was still this mystery island over here, but there was nothing over here. But why don't I just take um why don't I take Trudy on a little joyride and just see if there's any anything to check out on these uh random platforms and stuff. Let's grab a speedle and then take it over here. Cause like this this looks like we can start uh that start something. something else, huh? Thank you for going to such trouble on my behalf. Uh, there was nothing. Oh wait, no, this was um I'm being so dumb right now. This was the boss fight. These were like the random ramps we used to um get on the that centipede thing's back. Yeah, I'm being so dumb. So, all that is, uh, yeah, that's just random stuff. I do want to just head over here, though, and just, like, you know, just fly over, check out what there is, um, on these bl other blank spots. Yeah, these are all just little speedle ramps, so. I'm just gonna assume that we are done with, um,. With Sargasso. And if we have to come back here for again, 
I will be glad to do that because it's it's done nothing but give us a bunch of bolts, XP, and like extra goodies. So, oh wait, I forgot I have to land Trudy. I always forget that. Let's check out Miss Zircon. No new weapons. That's okay. But we should have a bunch of rarity. Okay, only twelve. That we've had more, but I am still glad to upgrade. Well, all of our weapons are at least 35% upgraded, so I think we're looking pretty good. And we have a lot of weapons, too. Looking pretty good. Um, so, let's go ahead now, and I think we're good to go to the next planet. A new planet, guys. Off to Savali. So, our main, yeah, main objective, find the Dimensionator blueprints. Ratchet heads to the Dimensional Archives to learn how to build a new Dimensionator. And then hunt for Lombax lore. A lone monk is searching Savali for relics, and a Lombax may be the key. But let's go ahead and check out uh, real quick our progress on this. So, okay, so we have the info bot, the Rhino info bot for the first two levels, and then on the um, at Zerkes, the battle arena planet, we don't have any. But something tells me those are just going to be rewards for whoops. Those are just going to be rewards for completing. Um, harder challenges there and same with like i think every single reward is just from is going to be from completing challenges so i'm not too worried about that um we have three out of three gold bolts and all of the uh parts so course on five and sargasso or sargasso are completely done so that's awesome so i think yeah now's as good a time as any to move on to our next planet um let's go to savali yeah let's do savali Savali. My boy. So are we meeting up then with Rivet? I hope so. That's super nostalgic, how it zooms out and gives you like this... Um... <sighs> yeah, dude. All the old Ratchets used to do that. Where as soon as you get on New Planet, it zooms out to kind of give you a picture of this New Planet. You know, New Planet, New Adventure. You know, Ratchet players will be all too familiar with that. But let's check out if there's a new weapon. Oh, thanks for choosing, Void Nose. Repulsor. Not unlocked yet. Sometimes the best offense really is a good defense. There's another shield weapon. Honestly, the only good defensive gadget or, well, like defensive weapon I can think of was the shield generator in Ratchet 3. Because it was just an automatic shield generator. You can even upgrade it to, like, if you run into people, it'll shock them. You know what I mean? It was just really good. But I just think of, like, I think Deadlocked had a shield projector where it, it put out a physical shield. That was, like, decently wide, but, like, Ratchet's such a chaotic game. It's not like a first-person shooter, you know, where things are mainly, like, slower paced and, I don't know, more methodical. Ratchet's kind of just all over the place, you know what I mean? So I've never really found shield weapons to be all that useful but we'll see okay it feels good to be back with ratchet if i'm being honest oh i just realized the hud looks different i didn't even when we switched over to rivet it didn't even uh occur to me that the the hud was a little bit different in terms of like color and simple shapes so oh it's gary that's his name right gary about building a dimensionator, would you? Ratchet? Ratchet! Gary! <laughs> your... Your reputation precedes you. Yeah. You'll need to go to the interdimensional archives. My apprentice... Okay, so I'm telling you some weird stuff's gonna happen here. Uh, town under attack? How did you know? It's just the way things are. <laughs> when we go to a new planet. I still remember how to stop an invasion. I love this more, like, jaded... Not really jaded, but he's kind of like, yeah, I'm used to it. You know what I mean? Just very experienced. I mean, we've always said his, his personality definitely has changed over time. What's new here? Oh, we didn't even watch the, um, or listen to it. I forgot it's just a uh, audio file. 
Kirchu sounds familiar. I don't remember what the Kirchu is. Officially, they remain neutral in the galactic conflict, but unfortunately, rumors have arisen that they have been harboring a key member of the resistance. Oh yeah, that's Rivet, right? <laughs> I thought I thought it was about to say that the the Morts are evil. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Um, but let's not forget to put on um armor for Ratchet. Now, is it the same? No, okay. So it won't have the same color that we equip um, Rivet with. All right, we're going to stick with this setup. It's the only one that I could come up with that remotely matched. <laughs> guys are looking for a Lombax? Well, yes, that did tip me off that you'd be coming. Good luck, Ratchet. <sighs> that building just beyond the town. It must be the archives. Flying sniper bot? What the heck? Oh, it's a bad guy. Okay. I guess I should have assumed that. So, are we fighting them? I think we're fighting it. When in doubt, just freaking shoot it. Okay, they're not too terribly strong. Oh, they blew the hell up. <laughs> they like... <laughs> I didn't expect that re- Oh, wait! I totally forgot! These little things that spew them out! You gotta destroy it. That's insane. I love how they brought back, like, iconic uh, enemies. I wish you could- I wish the, sh the sand sharks were, like, literally underground and you could see their fins like they used to be. It's a jump mushroom. Yep. Oh, that one almost bit me. <laughs> Mr. Raritanium, I think. I really like this gun. Just like I said when I first got it, it's like the burst pistol just better. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's taking a lot of damage here. This big one is causing me problems. Why do I keep doing that? Alright, out of ammo. Oh, this one's uh, about to upgrade. Nice. Really good range on this thing. Who's shooting me? Oh, he's down low, I think. Nice. One hit kill on that. Another town saved. Now about those archives. Okay, I see some uh, rare titanium. I need to get this. Okay. Uh, oh, more rare titanium. To go through here now. What? <gasps> Whoa! You all right? That was quite. Is this Rivet's clank? Who are you? Sorry, I. You look so familiar. I'm Ratchet. I'm here to find. I think it was Gary's apprentice. I need to build a dimensionator. Oh dear. 
Well, there's little I can do seeing as my archives are walking away. She's so cute. What the heck? How do I get back up there? Oh, What's the name? You're his apprentice. Maybe uh, So Ratchet Rivet Clank. Could work together? I can't think of anything. Claire? <laughs> do not make a great partner. Hmm. See, they have some history. Rivet this? and this apprentice. So badly, which they won't. We go our separate ways. No questions asked. Team? What happened? Sure. Team. She's so freaking adorable. What the heck? Oh, look at her. In order to reach the archives, we must rescue the monks from Nefarious's forces. Here. These hover <gasps> Let's go. The mesa quickly. Okay, so my thoughts, my thoughts, my thoughts. Um yeah, I think a theme of this game is the relationship between Ratchet and Clank um, potentially being strained a little bit, which has been done before. So I won't really comment on my thoughts on that. But um, I think Rivet and this apprentice, whatever her name is, um, something happened between them that kind of soured their relationship. And Clank's going to worry that the same thing's going to happen between him and Ratchet. Because, again, we've, we've seen Clank. Clank feels this, this whole interdimensional mess is his fault because he rebuilt the dimensionator but i'm sure in the end you know ratchet and clank's friendship will come out victorious and hopefully rivet and this uh female clank this apprentice we'll just call her the apprentice for now uh will make up in the end as well but anyway i'm excited to uh learn more about her and i'm excited to have the hover boots whoa Incredible. I was gonna say, I think I mentioned it before. First up, temples. Hey, I never caught your name. I'm gonna listen to them talk oh. first. I Katie. Katie. It's a pleasure to meet you. KT, yeah, her name's Katie. That's so cute. Okay. There are um, three temples nearby: the Mountain Temple, the Primeval Forest Temple, and the Temple de Badlands. The Badlands. The Badlands temple. No, you don't say. <laughs> okay. Free the monks at the Badlands Temple, Mountain Temple, and the Forest Temple. Okay. Straightforward enough. Holy moly. So this is like straight up a a an open world map. <laughs> um, well, let's do the optional objective first, right? I'm sure there's some gold bolts and stuff hidden around here as well. But yeah, I think I mentioned it before. Um, but if if not, I'll mention it again. I would be I, I said I would have I would be surprised if they didn't bring back the hover boots because they were such a, in my opinion, they were such a welcome addition to, you know, Ratchet's setup. You know, when they were introducing Crack in Time, you know, they they were technically introducing Going Commando, but those ones didn't have as much maneuverability. You know what I mean? The Crack in Time ones were clearly the most uh, improved ones. Like a southern mom. <laughs> ah, there is one of our senior archivists. Look at this guy. <laughs> I don't want to disturb him. He seems kind of uh, preoccupied, but. Whoa, can it be? A brother Wombax? You uh, know we're not related, right? Cha, we are. Cha. Mutual thirst for knowledge. Check this out. <laughs> A shrine the Lombax has built ages ago, Ooh, containing okay. a orb stuffed with ancient info. But okay. only a Lombax can unlock its secrets. If you could bring me three lords, I'll hook you up with a sweet piece of Okay, lore. so this is just like the, um... Lombax shrine? I already forgot what they were called, the Trudy thing. Radical! One last thing. Shrines won't open if they're bad vibes near. Bad vibes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Three Lombax Lorbs. Okay, I'm just going to call them Lorbs because it's just Lombax Orbs, right? Is this thing friendly? Okay, it's friendly. <laughs> I took my chances. Um... Okay, real cool. Yes. 
Lorbs. You found a mysterious lorb. These artifacts contain voice recordings from the past. Oh, these were those things we um we came across earlier and we were like, what? So someone on Savali rewards you handsomely for collecting them. Yep. Um Yeah, we saw these earlier and I was like, it looks like a precur precursor orb from Jack and Daxter. But um okay, we're we're learning some new stuff about the Lombaxes then. By mapping every dimension <laughs> in existence. Nice. Yeah, that might be impossible. Okay, mystery voice. Don't know who that is. Mentioned someone named Caden, though. I don't r recognize that name. Um, what was um the other Lombax's name in Kraken Time? How do I forget that name? Alistair? Alistair something, right? I forget his full name. Okay. Well, the lorbs are not marked on the map. So. We'll just, um. We'll just make our way to our first objective.